YouTube, what is up? This is your boy Grant, back with another video. I've got the F10 behind me. Uh, we've been working on some new mods, and so uh, hopefully we got some cool stuff for you guys. But uh, before we get kick this one off, just like always, we want to make sure you guys are subscribers to the channel. So make sure you take some time real quick, go out, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I want to try to keep give, giving this content for you guys. So uh, let's let's jump into this now. Okay, so today we are working on our basically our ethanol content analyzer. So down in the links in the description of the video, there's going to be uh, some links to how I built this kit. Uh, shout out to uh, I believe it's Turbo Keychains. Uh, he has a kit that you can actually purchase if you want to, but I did mine a little bit differently. Of course, I've got the 2011. F10 uh, for the N55, and it does not have a low pressure sensor, at least from what I understand, these models do not have a low pressure sensor underneath the intake manifold. So from time to time when I'm, when I'm you know, troubleshooting issues, things of that nature, I thought it would be really cool to make sure that I actually can, can monitor what the pressure is on the, on the system. So I did my ethanol content sensor a little bit differently. So I picked up uh, just a continental sensor. I actually just picked this up at, at a junkyard. Uh, if this doesn't work great, then of course I can always get a new piece, but for 15 bucks at like LKQ pull and part, you know, pick and pull, I figured it was worthwhile. So I picked that up. Um, I also went online and picked up an industrial uh, pressure sensor. So uh, again, I'm going to put a link to a couple of videos too, where I actually kind of tried to learn a little bit about this. This is the first time I've ever uh, got into um, Arduinos and, and kind of building uh, a kit and programming and all that sort of stuff. So uh, this here is actually uh, my Arduino uh, Nano. It's a Bluetooth version. So I'm working to see if I can actually have a uh, Bluetooth or a, an app for the uh, Android head unit uh, to monitor this as well. But in the meanwhile, I do have a small LCD screen. And just so you guys can see here, I'm just going to give it a little bit of, of, of power here. We can kind of see how this is going to work. So uh, I haven't figured out the best place to mount it at this point. Okay, so we gave the, the sensor some power. And there you can see right now it's showing us a temperature. Uh, it's showing it's bouncing back and forth a little bit on pressure. And then the 0% there is for our ethanol content. So uh, this is what's actually taking me the longest is actually, you see that pressure bouncing a little bit? Um, that's why this project is taking as long for, for me. All right, so I've actually been building this project for a couple of, uh, couple of months. Uh, the big thing or my big holdup was actually, as you saw in the, the previous video, is that the pressure is fluctuating a little bit. And I'm not, I'm not completely sure why. I've tried uh, changing out my Nano board. I've actually tried the code. Uh, everything that I only thing that I have not tried is actually purchasing a brand new sensor. But um, you know, when I started thinking about it further, this is really more for reference, so it doesn't have to be exact. Uh, it's really gonna just kind of give me a reference so that I know that I'm getting the pressure that I'm used to in the system. So I went ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and get it installed. But as you guys can see, even on my uh, Arduino here, I left the USB uh, connected so that I can actually use my laptop. I'll reprogram this if I need to, if I can find a fix for uh, for the reason why my pressure is actually bouncing. So um, I actually I pulled out the multimeter, connected to this unit. It does not seem to be changing as far as the, the, the multimeter is not showing a big change in the voltage that's coming off of it. So uh, I'm just going to give it the, the regular 12 volts and we'll put it in the car and we're going to see what it does. Uh, but if any guys, if you guys are specialists on this, if you guys have, have worked with this before and you have any idea why I'm having this little issue, please let me know. Drop some comments below or uh, actually get in touch with me on Instagram because um, I'll definitely pull this thing out and, and fix it. Or if I even need to go to a second uh, Arduino um, as opposed to having just the one unit running both sensors. But uh, from what I can see, that's not the case. Uh, but we're going to we're going to give this a shot. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is to pull out this back seat, uh, get access to our low pressure fuel fuel pump, because I'm planning on actually putting it in the back as opposed to putting it in the engine bay. I'm going to actually put it uh, put this whole setup in the back uh, underneath the seat where kind of how the new uh, MHD um, flex fuel kit is mounted. So we're going to give that a shot. So we'll jump into that now. Well, it's a new day. Uh, we're back at it. Had a couple of changes. So what we're working with now is uh, basically we've got our ethanol sensor here and we've actually went and we got some push lock um, um, 6, uh, 6 AN hose. 
uh, as well as uh, we have a couple of push locks fittings going into 6AN connections. And then that's actually giving us, getting us to our 5 sixteenths um, quick connect that we need for, uh, for the uh, stock fuel system. Uh, the, th uh, the, the ethanol sensor actually has 3 eighths quick connect. So that's what we're using these normal connections for. So that's one of the reasons why we actually had to go uh, kind of basically rebuild this, uh, this entire line. Um, and then on this side, we have another 6AN push connection to a, um, to a 6AN connection here that actually goes to our 5 16th quick connect. So again, we have a couple of different connections. And so it, uh, it created some issues because of course the line is 3 8 So the only way for us to kind of make this merge and work together is uh, with this 3 8 line, 3 8 uh, line was to use the, um, the AN or the push lock fittings to 6AN and then be able to use those 5 16th connections. So now we're gonna go ahead and give that a, a shot installing. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw a little sneak pre uh, peek down here, but uh, just got a set of uh, killer calipers in. Man, these things are insane. So uh, you guys drop me some uh, some comments down below if you guys wanna see these installed on the F10. So I initially picked them up thinking I was just going to uh, turn around and sell them, but man, they, they look so good. I don't know yet, man, so, uh, so we will see there. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get this uh, set up over here in the car, see if we can't get it installed. Um, and I will see if I can get you guys a little bit better angle here in just a second. This is our connection here from the vehicle. That's okay, that connects in and we can clip it so that's good there. And I tried to make these lines kind of long so I could uh, work them around. So hopefully they're not going to be too long. Let's see here. And this is actually going to connect in here. Yeah, it's kind of might be on the too long side. So we can adjust this a little bit. Okay. So right now this may work or I may have to, I don't know if that's going to close. Yeah, it actually still sits up a little too high. Hmm, okay. So we've got some figuring to do. Okay, fellas, well, it's a new day. Uh, there has been a lot of back and forth on this progress, just trying to make sure that I am installing this in the right place. Originally, I was gonna put it in the trunk. Uh, now I've decided that it's gonna go uh, next to the high pressure fuel pump. So uh, got the intake manifold off, as you guys can see. And what I'm doing here is um, right on the back side of our, of course, this is our high pressure fuel pump. Uh, this surprisingly is a high pressure, I mean, a low pressure fuel sensor. Uh, that apparently the, in, the uh, early model M55s are not supposed to have. Um, and then as you can see down here, there is uh, our fuel line. This is actually a flexible fuel line that actually comes up here to right here, if you can see it, to this connection here. So what I've done is I've uh, disconnected it here. Uh, and to do so, this is a little kind of a little bit of a tricky uh, connection. You kind of have to pull this uh, this line towards you and then push in on this clip and then pull back. But I did get that to release. I did that as well down uh, below. And so now I'm gonna pull that line out and I'm going to replace it with my high pressure fuel line that's over here on the dirty workbench. So uh, what I'm gonna do is gonna pull that out now, uh, measure it um, so that I have my new piece is gonna be the, the same length um, and then we'll go from there. So I'll get you guys uh, some more updates here shortly. All right. So this is our old line here that's been removed. And then this is our new line that I have um, so we've got our connections for the 5 sixteenths connections on both sides. Uh, our ethanol sensor here is in the middle. And then now we have, um, I'm actually adding that low pressure sensor that I've, I've talked about in the previous, you know, earlier in the video. So I'm going to get this installed uh, and then uh, try to start putting everything back together. Okay, fellas. So we've got the car back together. Um, we just did our initial startup. Been messing with our JB4 box. We had to get everything wired up. I've still got to get this set somewhere in the car, but it is giving me temperature, fuel um, content. So I'm at 36% E right now, and PSI is about 74, 75 uh, PSI on my low pressure side. So that's what I was needing. So now I've got to figure out exactly where I'm going to place that LCD screen in the car as well as seeing if there's any other uh, type of connections I can do for that, but uh, it's coming together. Right, so 
you can see my wire is still coming in. I'm going to have to clean that up a little bit. Uh, but we've got our eth ethanol module below here. I actually, what I did is I actually removed this panel. I removed the top of the um, H HVAC unit and ran my wires right through. Um, so came down below the glove box. Um, I've got, you can't see it here, but I actually tapped into uh, the fuse panel down there. I think I used a fuse 65 and a jumper. And so now we have our final location of our ethanol sensor uh, LCD right there. So I think that looks really clean. I'm gonna go around to the driver's side real quick. This will be the first start. I haven't actually drove the car in about a week. So as we can see here right now, it's showing uh, the car's been sitting for quite a while. 40 uh, PSI is what I'm showing on the um, my low pressure. So if we give the car a start. All right, you see that jumped up. Sitting at about 82 or 80, 70, so. I think that actually looks really clean. It's going to be easy, easy for me to see right there next to the iDrive. Okay, so we finally got that ethanol sensor installed. Uh, one thing I noticed going back when I was editing the film was that I, uh, I lost some footage where I was actually explaining how we had to rebuild the uh, the ethanol line. So when I actually changed from re uh, installing the ethanol sensor below the rear seat to installing it underneath the intake manifold, I did have to go ahead and rebuild that line. Uh, it actually was simpler to install it underneath that intake manifold. So just use some push connections for the 5 sixteenths as well as I believe the 3 eighths. So what I'll do is down in the description, I will actually uh, drop some links to uh, Amazon where I was able to find those connections. So if you guys are planning on doing this in the future, you could easily just click on those links. Uh, if you guys have any other content that you wanna see, definitely shout at me, let me know, let me know down in the comments or hit me up on Instagram. Uh, but that's gonna wrap this one up. Uh, you guys be safe and we will catch you guys next time.